Hello everyone and welcome to another Tuesday here on the Five Mad Heathens. Um, so this week's question um, is a very interesting one and I agree with Douglas it tells us a lot about ourselves and other people in general. Um, this week's question um, is another three-parter but the general question is um, what do you fear? So. Um, Douglas pretty much asks us uh, three different questions. He breaks it down into three different parts, just like last week with the free will um, question. Um, so the first question is, what do you fear? And this can be uh, more than one fear. Um, I was giving it some thought, and I kind of have three, three different fears. Um, the first and most important one, the one that I fear the most, is wasting time. Since um, my time to my time to since my time to exist is finite, um, you know I really can't waste time because time um, is precious to me as a human being. So um, wasting time that I can't get back is my uh, my biggest fear and I, I try my best not to waste time um, the second biggest fear I have is um, someone um, someone close to me either a family member a lover or a friend someone close to me dying um, while I'm while I'm still alive. Now, obviously, that's going to happen, but it's something I still fear, because the emotional the emotional loss that comes with that um, is irreversible, and it, it would be with me for as long as I lived. Um, and that and that sort of thing led to an interesting discussion between me, Maza, and. Um, Eddie, who used to be on this channel, the other night on Skype, it turned into a really interesting discussion there. Uh, but my general feeling is, and a lot of people would probably feel the same way, is that the emotional loss is irreversible, and you can't, um, you can't really accept it at any point in time, no matter how, no matter how spaced out. Um, it is between present moment and when it happened. So that's my second uh, biggest fear. Um, my third biggest fear is um, is large crowds. Now having anxiety problems, and when I'm dealing with large crowds, I get very anxious. Those are my. Um, three biggest fears, and they're in descending order, as I just did them. Okay, um, the second part of Douglas's question is, have you ever been paralyzed by this fear? Has it ruled your actions? Um, hmm. I can't say it, um, I can't say any of them have paralyzed me. Um, but they have ruled my actions. Um, not the second one, but the first one and the third one has ruled my actions. Um, you know, I don't want to waste time, so I'm not going to take part in actions that do waste time. Not that I, not that I wouldn't, you know, go to a party because I don't consider that a waste of time. Um, I mean, some people may think it's a waste of time, but I don't consider going to a party a waste of time. I consider it a social event to catch up with people and have a good time with people. So it's not a waste of time to me. So I mean, I do I do actions that I feel aren't a waste of time. If I feel they're a waste of time, I'm not going to do take part in those actions. And as in the case of number three, I try avoiding large crowds because if I avoid large crowds, then it um, it triggers that in 
if I avoid large crowds, it doesn't trigger that anxiety I get from that. Um, so yes, it, it does rule my actions, but I can't say I've ever been paralyzed by these fears. Um, and the third part of this question is, if you had to face your fear to get something done, would you be able to do it? Or if it was a life or death situation, would you be able to confront any of these fears? Um, yes, I would. Uh, in the case of life or death, um, I would. I would definitely would. I mean, if I if I had to take part in an action that wastes time, um, I would do it. Um, if I, I, I'm not sure how I would face the second one in a life or death situation. I don't know how that would come about. Um, for the third one, if I had to face large crowds and deal with the anxiety I get, if it was a life or death situation, I definitely would do it. Um, so yes, if, in the case of a life or death situation, for all of these fears, I would definitely be willing to face them. I don't know if that would help me overcome them, but I would be willing to face them if that sort of context arises. Um, so yeah, that's all, that's all to uh, Douglas's question. Three parts. Um, it's a very interesting discussion. Uh, I don't want to. I don't mean to advertise on here, but um, I I wrote up a blog post tonight about um, the topic of fear in general. More specifically, I was examining the question of whether um, all fears are unreasonable. Um, I examined that. So um, check out my uh, new blog that I launched about a few days ago and check out that post. I will uh, post a link to that in the sidebar for you guys. And uh, you can check out the rest of my blog from there. Um, this is a really interesting discussion. I'm glad Douglas brought it up because um, figuring out what people fear can give you sort of a keen insight onto what makes them feel vulnerable. Um, it, it sort of it sort of tells you the weak spots of a person because, um, yeah, because a lot of the times in uh, social events you have uh, people trying to put on a front or a facade to make themselves appear a lot stronger than they really are, and you don't really. I mean, no one no one ever comes up to me and tells me their weak spots unless they're a really honest person. So I think um, explaining. Um, what you fear and why you fear it is a is a very good way of figuring out people's weak spots and really getting down to the core of who they are as a person. So I, I, I think out of all the questions on this channel so far, I think this question was the best one. Um, and I, I think it, it, this sort of question really goes to the heart of why um, I wanted to start up this collaboration channel to begin with because um, I mean, you get the same, you get the same timeless philosophical questions all the time that people have been trying to answer for thousands of years, um, and at times without any progress whatsoever. Um, but I mean, this sort of question you don't really get in a philosophy textbook, and I think it's, I think it's something that we really strive for here at Five Mad Heathens with the, these sort of questions because this is the reason why um, I was so inspired to do a collaboration channel such as this. So I wanted to praise Douglas for his question of the week. Okay, um, I've gone on long enough. I will uh, see you next Tuesday to answer Origin's question of the week. Take care, everyone.